Hello people, this one mark question is from GATE 2015 exam. Let's first read the statement. It says, consider a 4-bit Johnson counter with initial value of 0000. The counting sequence of this counter is, okay, so we need to determine the counting sequence of a Johnson ring counter or a twisted ring counter. What is a twisted ring counter? In such a counter, we use D flip-flops. They have mentioned 4-bit, that means we are uh, going to use 4 D flip-flops. First, second, third, fourth, okay. Initial value of counter is given as 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. So this output, this output, this one as well as this one, all are 0. I have written 0, here. okay. Now just to distinguish between these outputs, let's call this one A, B, C, D, okay. To make a Johnson ring counter, we connect this flip-flops output as its input similarly here as well as here except for the last flip-flop. Instead of taking this as the feedback, we take this as the feedback. Okay, so complemented output is connected as input here. Okay, now you see initially the state is 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. Whenever we give a clock signal, what will happen? Upon seeing a clock signal, each and every D flip-flop will just take its input and give it as the output. So input to this D flip-flop is 0, okay. That 0 will be shifted here. This 0 will be shifted here. This 0 will be shifted here. And this is 1, okay. Just pay attention. 0 complement is 1, so that 1 will be shifted here, okay. Because before clock signal, this D input is 1, okay. This is 1, 0 complement. Whenever we give a clock signal, this D input will be given as the output, okay. So this one will become 1, all of the other 3 outputs are 0. That means it is 1, 0, 0, 0, okay. Now let us see what will happen upon giving next clock signal. Whatever is this bit's complement, okay, it is 0, its complement is 1, that will come to the first place. So I'm writing 1 here. And these 3 will shift 1 position to the right, okay. So 1, 0, 0 is copied as it is, okay. Now let me just complete this. See, its complement is to be written here. And these 3 will be shifted here, okay. Its complement is to be written here and these three will shift here. Is it visible? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. So this is the counting sequence of the given counter. 0, 8, 12, 14, 15, 0, 8, 12, 14, 15, 7, 3, 1, 0, 7, 3, 1, 0, yeah, so answer is option D, but option A is also correct, most of the students don't get this point, how is option A correct, see, some of the students in, on some online discussion forum, and also some of the students in offline classes give reference of books. They say in theory, in some books, it said that this is MSB and this one is LSB. But that is not fixed. That is just for the purpose of explanation. In this question, they didn't ever mention that this counter's output will be taken as the MSB. Okay. See. Whether I take this one as MSB or this one as MSB, the working will remain same, okay. This working will remain as it is. These out outputs will remain as it is. Now, after we have, uh, we have just done with this, now the thing is, how do we interpret this 4-bit number? I can start from this side. I can say this, this number is actually 0, 1, 1, 1. It is not 14, I can say it is 7, okay. That is the difference. Now, if I take this one to be the MSB, 
That means I will say my output or my current state is D C B A. Okay. So all zeros we are starting from this. Here value of A is zero and all three are one. That means A is zero. Sorry, A is one and all three are zero. Okay, A is one and all three are zero. So zero one. This will become three. Double zero double one. Okay, so zero one three. You can see we'll just reverse this and it will start from here 0 1 3 7 15 and so on which is exactly same as option a so option a is also correct most of the students find it illogical to take this d bit and place it to the this uh, place it to this side and take this a bit place it to the this uh, to this side okay they don't find it very logical they say this has to be the answer because we are copying the bits as it is. My argument is who told you that we are going to make circuit in this way only. In real world, there's no rule like that all the flip flops will be placed in a single line. Okay, just try to understand in real world, I can place the flip flops like this. Okay, because I want to make use efficiently make use of the chip efficiently okay maybe i have a circular chip and i have to place flip flops on it so i place them like this or will i just say my number is something like this so how do i interpret it i actually have to define some sequence so i can take any one of them to be msb and any one of them to be lsb okay so you can start from here or you can start from here. Both of them are correct. Okay. Yeah, one more point. Now, please don't say this is the MSB, this is the LSB and these two are intermediary bits. No, please don't do that. The place where we take complemented output. See, we are taking complement of this as input to the next one. That place can either be MSB or it can be LSB. Okay. In real world, it need not be the last one in this line. Okay. In real world, this flip flop can be placed anywhere. This one can be placed here also. Okay. So there's no compulsion that they have to be in a single line. Okay.